y'all. Uh, we are going to be doing um, a pretty quick video. I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to create any, any image and convert it into an SVG. SVGs to me uh, give you the best uh, the best cut. You get a clearer image than you do uh, if you are image tracing, and that's really how I get any image off of Google and co and convert it into SVG to get it to uh, to get it to carve pretty cleanly. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So the site that we use is called PNG to SVG. Dot com so png t t0 t o s v g dot com all right so let's put that in take you to a site like this right here all right so once you're at this site let's go to google and we'll just do any image let's see um let's uh let's do a sports team let's go with uh uga logo one I do pretty often. Uh, so the images we're looking for, and you can see those little numbers down at the bottom right there. See those? That shows you how large the image is. We want the bigger numbers because we want a clear image. So let's go with something. Let's go with, uh, we can go with this bulldog right here. All right, so you can see. Pretty nice image. Let's save it. Alright, American flag, as you can see, and drafts. I actually have it already saved in there. So anyway, you would save it, go to the site, scroll all the way down, ignore this crap because all these are ads right here. So come scroll all the way down till you get where it says choose a file. So we'll click on that. Got a draft. So actually it's right there. So click on whatever you saved. All right, so you'll be you'll get this right here. So it gives you it's five different colors on this image. I try to always get my image down to two colors. So usually I'll go down to the black and white, and then down here you click generate, and it'll reduce the image, and then you'll be left with that. So actually, what we need to do so this is a good example because we took it down, we lost this section right here, the red portion. So let's go back up to, we'll go back up to three colors, click generate again, because I want to make sure we have that and that in there. It doesn't really matter if it's filled with color or not, but we don't want to lose those lines right there. So let's download SVG. All right, it's going to show, let's, it's, it'll go into your downloads folder. So let's look in our downloads. Let's rename it to UGA Dog, UGA Dog, and we will put it in the CNC folder. All right. So now, then you'll go to um, your easel. Let's move this over a little bit so we can see it. And zoom out. All right. So we'll click right here to upload. Go to SVG. And you find your SVG that you saved, and we saved it under UGA Dog. So there it is, right there. All right. So what you'll end up with is kind of something like this. Now you'll notice because there's multiple colors, uh, you want it. There's a background that's like that. You can pull out. Just take that and delete it. All right. So now you're left with one image. Actually, you're left with two because we chose three colors. That's right. So you'll be left with these right here. See all these little dots? You don't need that because you, you really just want to get to this right here. That's what you're trying to get to. Now, you can either carve this just like that. Let's just see how it looks when we do a general detailed preview. So then it'll carve it out like that. So that's what you would be left with. If you carve, if you carved it just like that, a lot of times in the unions, what I do is because I don't, I don't want um, it carved out that much. I do it on an outline and do it pretty thin. So let's see, and I'll show you how that turns out. And that's usually 
how I do it right there. Still comes up pretty good, cuts really quickly, and the image looks pretty good. So, all right, that's one SVG. Let's go ahead and do another one real quick. All right, so let's go with, um, hmm. let's just do something. Let's do like a mountain. Uh, we can do a tree. Let's do a tree. Um, let's do a pine tree clip art. All right, so these are pretty popular with a lot of my signs that I do. Is the trees? That's actually the one I. That's actually the one I use pretty much all the time. So let's go ahead and we'll do this. Um, no, let's choose something else uh, just so I have it. Let's do. Let's do this one. That's kind of blurry. That looks good right there. Let's do this one. It's also blurry. You want to try to find one that's got, there we go, it's nice and clear. Usually whenever um, they're blurry, you're not going to get that great of an image. So let's save this under drafts. Go to pine tree one. Same thing, we'll go to png to svg.com. All right, go down to choose a file. Drafts and find your pine tree that we did. So this one only has two, three colors, but we are definitely gonna reduce this one down to two because we're just wanting the tree, that's it. So let's generate it. Same thing, you'll download SVG. Go into your download folder, rename it pine tree one. Put that wherever folder you need to. Go back to your easel. Go over to import over here. SVG. And let's find it. Uh, Pine Tree 1 is how we saved it. Right there. Alright, so as you see, there's a background like that. Take that background and delete it. And you're left with a perfectly... Um, good tree outline to use. Now normally whenever you download an SVG it's usually set to the to the cutout length so you'll have to adjust it to whatever depth you want to cut it at um, and then it's it gives you a pretty good uh, pretty good image cutout. So that's how you do it. Very simple. You can use this with any image um, you can find on Google. Uh, remember, you want to try to get it to as the little amount of colors as possible. So usually, whenever I Google something, I'll use, I'll put in clip art because clip art will give you a black and white image. Usually, if you can find a black and white image, that's perfect. Um, but it opens up anything on Google that you want to turn into an S, uh, to an image. You don't have to pay Etsy or whoever. But you know, I mean, sometimes it's easier to pay Etsy. I still recommend certain things to pay Etsy, somebody that's already put the file together. But if you're in a crunch and you hurry up and you need to hurry up and get an image, this is the best way to do it. So hopefully this helps and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, um, anything else you want me to work on. I've been getting a lot of comments for different ideas for videos and I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to be working on some different things this weekend. And anyway, hope you guys have a good day.